Greetings interweb and welcome back guys. Now I managed to earn myself a platinum trophy for Fallout 4 and as you trophy hunters may know getting a platinum trophy in any game is not very easy. It's very time consuming and can indeed be a little bit frustrating at times. I would say the two hardest trophies to get in Fallout 4 is Prankster's Return where you have to place a live grenade or mine while pickpocketing and obviously without being caught and the benevolent leader trophy where you have to reach maximum happiness in a large settlement. So I'm gonna give you guys 5 tips on getting the harder trophies. So let's firstly look at Prankster's Return. And this one was my very last trophy mainly because this sneak game has to be on point. If you wanna have any success of planting a grenade or mine on somebody without being caught, your sneak game has to be at least 50% all by having your agility maxed out which in turn contribute towards your sneak perk. So the first tip I'm gonna give to you guys is make sure your agility and sneak is catered for when leveling up. In other words put a lot of points into them. Your ability to sneak helps you from being dead a lot of times. Tip number two for this trophy, do this at one of your smaller settlements. If you're aligned with the Minutemen, then you obviously have settlements under your control. Do this at one of the small settlements with like 3 or 4 people, so that way if you get caught and you happen to kill all of them, then you can just recruit new settlers. Or just make a quick save before you do it, so that way if you mess it up, you can just load the save. Which brings me on to tip number 3, make a shitload of saves. And just a quick heads up here guys, the trophies Nuclear Family, Rocket's Red Glare and the Nuclear Option are all different trophies in which you have to be aligned with different factions, i.e. the Institute, the Brotherhood of Steel and the Railroad. Basically they want each other dead. So before you choose a side, make a save, then go through with their quest. Once you finish that quest line, load the previous save, then make another save so you can align with another faction. It doesn't matter which one you do first, as long as you eliminate the ops, it's all good in the hood as they say. Now let's have a look at the benevolent leader trophy. This trophy requires you to reach maximum happiness in a large settlement. It's most likely the last trophy you will get in Fallout 4. Now the weirdest thing happened to me when I got this trophy, it was completely by accident. I spent most of my time trying to get Sanctuary to 100% happiness and while doing so the trophy popped up and I was like wow what the what's happening? When I checked my pit boy the castle was 100% happiness and then I got there and this was the current state of the castle. The radius came through and just completely shot on these guys. Look. Plants are falling everywhere, I have no idea what's going on. Obviously everything was all good before and the raiders came through and just shattered them. So it's now 14 defense, 15 beds, while there were 17 people here. I had literally just sent 2 people here from Sanctuary Hills, so that's why there are 17. So I went ahead and repaired everything and as you can see the happiness went down because they took a trash in from those raiders. So I can give you guys two tips for this bit. When it comes to the happiness in your settlements, firstly when it comes to food you need to have equal to or greater than the amount of people you have. Okay so if you have 17 people you need to have 17 food or more than 17 food. When it comes to water that needs to be the same as well and obviously beds need to be the same or greater than the amount of people that you have at your settlement. So I have 17 people there, now there's 17 beds. When it comes to power, power doesn't matter, power doesn't affect the happiness of your settlement but when it comes to defenses, you can bring up your pit boy, check your workshops and you will see exactly what's going on there. You can see that the castle now has 84 defense, I need to make more so that's what's making the happiness going down. I need to make more defenses there. And you can see all of your settlements, you can check the stats of your settlements in your workshop in your pit board. So tip number two when it comes to settlements, always check your settlements. If you're going for 100% happiness in any large settlement, you need to check very often. You need to make sure the defenses and the water and the food is going okay because if the food goes down, if the water goes down and shit needs repairing, you're gonna have to go there and make sure it's up to scratch because these guys are very very fussy they get unhappy about any little thing that happens so you need to double check and make sure everything's all right with your settlements all right and there you have it guys hopefully you found this guide helpful if you do please leave a like rating and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more fallout videos and as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video